Hello, Maria. Hello, Noe. How are you? Hello, teacher. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you okay. clearly. Okay. You are ready to play video game? Fortnite, Fortnite. Let's go, Noe. Fortnite. <laughs> okay, teacher. Yes. <laughs> Excellent. I imagine your son, your son say, Papa, only playing video games, always in video games in English. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is this, no. I use my child only only me. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> yes. Okay, okay. Good. Jaime, how are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. I'm fine. I'm fine, teacher. And you, teacher? Good. Jaime, it's raining in your neighborhood. It's raining in your area. Uh, actually, no, teacher. Uh -huh. uh, the weather is, is not raining. Okay, okay. Because here in my area is raining. That's why I ask. I think, oh, maybe in other parts of El Salvador too, but but no, no with you, huh? No, teacher. Cojutepeque City, no raining now. Cojutepeque. <laughs> sí, yes. Ah, oh, putifaras. Hey, those are good. Yes. Mm -hmm. It is the city of chorizos. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And <laughs> Uh, Jaime, is there a, a place where you say <laughs> and cojute is the best, the best sausage, the best putifaras? Is one place for you that you that you like or no? Yes, I like. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it's very good. Okay. How do you prepare, Jaime? <laughs> <laughs> Jaime. Hello, hello, Noe. Uh, how you prepare the Potifarras. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. Yes, yes. Okay. Very rich. Invite me. Oh. <laughs> okay. Two quarters of two quarters tortilla, putifara, ha, and a pilsner. No problem. Hey, no problem. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, good. Maria, yeah. how, Maria, are, are you there? Yes, teacher. Ah, okay. You are very quiet, Maria. What happened? I am feeling so bad. Oh, no. Why, Maria? Yeah, what, what happened? I had flu. Um, this is a problem. And do you have a fever, Maria? No, no, only flu. <laughs> only the flu, no. No, yeah. no vomit, no stomach problem, no. No, no, no. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. You're tired, Maria. No, no. No tired. No tired. No. No. Okay. okay. Uh, I am in my home. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. That's good. It it's important. Did you go to work today? No, no. Today, no, no work. Nice. Why? I have I have free. <laughs> uh, because of the flu. No, my day free. 
Really? Yes. That's nice. I think Wednesday is a great day to have the day off. Yes. Uh, only day. Uh, only day we can. Uh, we have free. Uh, you work on Saturday and Sunday. Yes. The both days. Yes. Oh, uh, this I don't like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah because i don't know but i think that when you only have one day you don't feel that you relax you feel uh, so so not relaxed but you have activities supermarket cleaning the house uh, doing the chores but when you have two days you have one day to relax and one day mm -hmm. for the activities of the house yes it's true mm -hmm. One day, no rest eh, enough. Uh-huh. That's what I, I, I think. But uh -huh. it's, it's not possible for every job. Some job is necessary. For example, the same as no, I don't work every day, but only relax Sunday because I have to work on Saturday. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Jaime, what about you? Do you work on Saturday? Me, teacher? Yes. Oh, no, teacher. Only I, I work in uh, Monday uh, uh, and Friday. Mm -hmm. o only that week. Saturday and, and, so and Sunday is uh, I stay in my, in my home. Wow. No. The two days you have free. Yes. Okay, okay. That's good. What about you, Jaime Reyes? Do you work the two days? Hey, good evening, teacher, everyone. Good evening. And I work coming to, to Monday or Friday, Monday, Saturday. Uh, also Saturday. Well, Saturday at, at, at 12 o'clock. Mm -hmm. the, the four hours, right? Yeah. Yeah. This is the, the hard only, only Sunday free for me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is the problem with, with some jobs that you don't have a chance to relax. But today is very good that we are talking because today's objective is speaking. We're going to focus in our speaking. Uh, Maria, can you please read today's objective? Okay. In this class, you will notice and practice intonation and stand in the time beginning with the child phrase. Also, at the end of the class, you will have time practice in the personal personalist phrase using different tenses. Thank you, Maria. Two pronunciations here statements. Statement. Statement. Good. And this word is Phrase. 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 Uh -huh. This one is phrases. Phrases. And, and this one is phrase. Phrase. Good. Very good. So today, that's the idea. We're going to be using the time phrases. Remember, time phrases is only to give the order, the idea when the situation happened. Before, after, as soon as, in the future, in five years. This is the idea. The idea is to talk about the time, okay? About different activities. For example, Noe, eh, you like soccer, right? Yes, teacher. I, mm -hmm. I, I like soccer um, uh, with my uh, son. I, I go with uh, the uh, Saturday. Playing every Saturday in the in the afternoon. Okay. No. When is the World Cup? When is the World Cup? Um. 
God teaching no entiendo esa palabra. I am under, I am under look in the chat. Ah. Me look ah. in the chat. Maybe, maybe when you see the word, it's ah. easy. Yes. Um, my, my equipo, como digo, mi, mi equipo favorito. My favorite team. My favorite team is Real Madrid. Okay. Good. Very good. So when you talk about the time, for example, Real Madrid is going to play in three weeks, in two months. In This is the time expression. Maria is going to get married. When? Oh, next year, the time expression. Okay. Or El Salvador was in the World Cup. Really? Ah, uh, 20 years ago, El Salvador participated. These are the time expressions, past, present, or future. Yesterday, we learned some expressions for the present. Nowadays, uh, uh, every so often, different words. Today, let's listen and hear a few more expressions and how to pronounce them correctly. For this activity, we're going to be and let's check 4.6, 4.6 of the platform. Ready to work on pronunciation? Notice the intonation in these statements beginning with a time phrase. Pronunciation, intonation in statements with time phrases. Part A, listen and practice. Notice the intonation in these statements beginning with a time phrase. In the past, very few people used computers. Today, people use computers all the time. In the future, there will be a computer in every home. Can you now complete these statements with your own information? Read the statements to your teacher. As a child, I used to Two years ago, I, in five years, I. Okay, so we can see we are using many different expressions. Expressions for the past, expressions for the future. But also we can use expressions for the present, today, nowadays. These are some expressions that we also use for these, okay? Today, we're going to be focusing on our speaking and the idea for talking about the different things in life, all of the different things. You don't have to give always a time expression. It's not an obligation, but it helps to organize the ideas. In this moment, in the chat, I'm going to give you a link. The link is for the different topics. You and your partner are going to select a topic, any topic that you want to talk about. If you want to talk about adoption, okay. If you want to talk about backpacking, no problem. If you want to talk about anything there, Let me see. I think we have a little bit too much noise there. So any topic that you want, you select with your partner and you answer the questions. You discuss it, you try to use the time expressions. For example, a backpacking. Oh. I, in the future, I hope to go backpacking. Three years ago, I went to Monte Cristo with my family, whatever. Any topic, answer the topic naturally. Don't worry, but if you can use the time expressions, use the time expressions. Okay, everybody has the link? Okay. So with our partners, we're going to go practice any topic that you like, speaking, only speaking in English.
Jose Arturo, do you have problems?
Jose, you okay? You have some problems? Jose, any questions? Uh, teacher, I have a problem with my computer. Okay. Can you hear me? Yes, yes, yes. I can hear you. Um, like a robotics or normal? Normal. I can hear you normal. Okay. Um, we'll try to connect to another group. Okay. Okay. Don't worry, Juan. I know you're a little late. The other groups are coming right now. Oh, okay, thank you. You're welcome, you're welcome. Everything okay, Juan? A little bit of internet problem or only work? Okay. All right, thank you everybody for coming back. Any questions, any vocabulary or words that you didn't know that you wanted to use? No? Yes, yes, yes. With my partner and this could uh, um, about the the question, uh, what do you eat uh, dinner? Queremos saber si está correcta la pregunta. 
almost correct. What do you eat for dinner? Okay. Good, that's good. Any other questions? No? All right. Don't worry. I know some have a little bit of internet connection, sometimes for the rain, sometimes for the internet. It's a little slow. In this moment, we're going to continue. We're going to do a listening exercise. Here is 4.8. The objective is to listen and develop our skills for main ideas. We want to listen and answer the questions on 4.8. We have three questions. Here, we're going to take a moment and read. And let's see. Uh, Jose Arturo, can you please read the instructions? Oh, okay. Um, listen to the people discuss change in the neighborhood. Check the topic each person talk about. So we're going to listen to three people and we have many different topics. Juan Linares, can you please read the different topics? Different topic. Here, do you see the topic? Population. Mm -hmm. Continue one, continue, all of them. Ah, okay. Uh, population, transportation, families, environment, cities, shopping. Thank you. It's okay, all of the vocabulary? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. Listen and identify what is the topic that three different people discuss. We're going to listen to a woman, then a man, and the last a different woman. So listen to the three topics. What do they talk about? Listen to people discuss changes. Check the topic each person talks about. One. How long have you been living here? Oh, for over 20 years. And have you noticed a lot of changes during that time? Oh, yes, quite a few. This is a much nicer place to live now than it used to be. It's much greener. When I first moved here, there weren't many trees around. But over the last few years, the city has planted trees everywhere. It's made such a difference. Two. How do you like living here? Well, it's an interesting city, but you really need a car here. Otherwise, you can't go anywhere. There used to be a good bus system, but there isn't anymore. Why is that? Oh, well, I think they expect everyone to have a car, so they don't bother to provide decent bus service. It's getting worse and worse. These days, you have to wait for ages for a bus, and when one finally shows up, it's usually full. Three, I can't believe how much this neighborhood has changed. What do you mean? Well, when Joe and I first bought this house, that was almost 20 years ago, of course, there were lots of young couples with children living on this street. I don't see any kids out today. That's because they've all grown up and moved out of their parents' houses. Just about the only young children we see around here these days are the grandchildren when they come to visit. It's a shame. I miss the sounds of kids playing. It's gotten way too quiet around here. Okay. Page 60. Exercise 5. Number one, the woman. What was the first one? Environment. 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 Yes. Number two? Transportation. 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 Okay. And number three? Families. Families. Good. Let's listen again and check our answers or change our answers. Listen again. Five. Part B. Listen again. Write down the change and if things are better or worse now. One. How long have you been living here? Oh, for over 20 years. 
And have you noticed a lot of changes during that time? Oh, yes, quite a few. This is a... Well, I don't know what happened. Hmm. Let me try one more time. Sorry. Listen to people discuss changes. Check the top for over 20 years. And have you noticed a lot of changes during that time? Oh, yes, quite a few. This is a much nicer place to live now than it used to be. It's much greener. When I first moved here, there weren't many trees around. But over the last few years, the city has planted trees everywhere. It's made such a difference. Two. How do you like living here? Well, it's an interesting city, but you really need a car here. Otherwise, you can't go anywhere. There used to be a good bus system, but there isn't anymore. Why is that? Well, I think they expect everyone to have a car, so they don't bother to provide decent bus service. It's getting worse and worse. These days, you have to wait for ages for a bus, and when one finally shows up, it's usually full. Three. I can't believe how much this neighborhood has changed. What do you mean? Well, when Joe and I first bought this house, that was almost 20 years ago, of course, there were lots of young couples with children living on this street. I don't see any kids out today. That's because they've all grown up and moved out of their parents' houses. Just about the only young children we see around here these days are the grandchildren when they come to visit. It's a shame. I miss the sounds of kids playing. It's gotten way too quiet around here. Okay. Are the answers okay, or do you want to change? Hungry's answer is okay, teacher. Excellent. That is correct. All of the answers are correct. It is environment, transportation, and families. As you can see, Many people have different opinions, different opinions about their neighborhood, how they live and what has been different. In this moment, we're going to take a few minutes with your partner. You're going to describe your neighborhood before, your neighborhood now, and how do you imagine your neighborhood is going to be in the future? So your neighborhood in the past, your neighborhood now, and how do you imagine your neighborhood in the future? Yes? Yes. Okay, let's try. Say you okay? Any questions? Hi, we're about to study conditional sentences. A conditional sentence is formed by a possible situation and a consequence. Pay attention to the audio program for more explanation. Conditional sentences with if clauses. Possible situation plus simple present. If you get a high paying job. Consequence plus future with will, may, or might. 
you won't have to work as hard. If you get a high-paying job, you won't have to work as hard. If you don't have to work as hard, you'll have a lot more free time. If you have a lot more free time, you might get bored. If you get bored, you may have to look for another job. The first conditional is a structured used for talking about possibilities in the present or the future. We will explain you how this conditional is formed and when it is used. When we talk about this conditional, which is called first conditional, by the way, we will divide it in two parts, if clause and main clause. In conditional, we use the word if. So we say, if I study, I will pass my exam. Follow me in the structure. If clause, if plus subject plus verb in simple present. Main clause, subject plus will plus verb. Let's work on more examples. If you save money, you will go on a trip. If she speaks English, she will have a better job. If we exercise, we will be healthy. All of these examples show a possibility of what might happen if. I will give you some possible situations. Try to give me your consequence using the structure learned. Don't forget to write them on our discussion box. If you study English, if you lose your job, if you have children, don't forget to write your consequence using the future will, may, or might. Okay, any vocabulary to describe your neighborhood or something that you don't know how to say? Uh, teacher. Uh -huh. the, the expression today is, uh, can I can use for the present, today? Correct, you can okay. use for the present. Also, you can use the expression nowadays. These are the two, these are the two common expressions. Okay. Mm -hmm. Only question, teacher. Okay.
Okay, let's take a look. And no other questions? No? All right, let's see. Jaime Reyes, Jaime Reyes, how do you say tiendita in English? Uh, lady shop. How do you say tiendita in English? I think lady shop. Mm, little shop. Okay. Okay. It's okay. Also in English, I don't know why, but many people call it the corner store. The corner store where they, like in El Salvador, la tiendita. Ah, in English is the corner store. Okay. Unnecessary okay. in the corner, but they, they call it the corner store. This is for the idea that it's a small, usually the mom or the father have a little store. This is the idea. Okay. The corner, the corner, the corner. Correct. It's in the chat. It's in the chat. The corner store. Mm -hmm. Thank you, sir. Good. Jaime, or sorry, Jose. Okay, it, okay. It's okay, the vocabulary, no questions? No, no questions. Okay, good. In this moment, now we're going to look at conditionals. Conditionals give the idea it is like if one happened, another is cause and effect. If this happened, this happened. This is the consequence. We're going to watch a little video and then we're going to practice exercises to use the grammar correctly. This is 4.9. The idea is conditional sentences with if. Conditional sentences with if. Hi, we're about to study conditional sentences. A conditional sentence is formed by a possible situation and a consequence. Pay attention to the audio program for more explanation. Conditional sentences with if clauses. Possible situation plus simple present. If you get a high paying job. Consequence plus future with will, may, or might. You won't have to work as hard. If you get a high paying job, you won't have to work as hard. If you don't have to work as hard, you'll have a lot more free time. If you have a lot more free time, you might get bored. If you get bored, you may have to look for another job. Okay. Now, what is important about these examples? The grammar. In the if, with if, we are going to use the verb in present, positive or negative, but the verb in present. In the second part, in the consequence, we're going to use the future, the future positive or negative. The negative won't, the positive will. And we're going to use a model. The model is, for example, a high, might, may, will or want. These are the different that we can use. The first conditional is a structured used for talking about possibilities in the present or the future. We will explain you how this conditional is formed and when it is used. When we talk about this conditional, which is called first conditional, by the way, we will divide it in two parts, if clause and main clause. In conditional, we use the word if, so we say, if I study, I will pass my exam. Follow me in the structure, if clause, if plus subject plus verb in simple present. Main clause, subject plus will plus verb. Let's work on more examples. If you save money, you will go on a trip. If she speaks English, she will have a better job. If we exercise, we will be healthy. All of these it's okay in this moment how to use if yeah. the in present, the second part, will or the verb in future. Any questions? No, no question, teacher. No? Okay, excellent. 
example show a possibility of what might happen if. I will give you some possible situations. Try to give me your consequence using the structure learned. Don't forget to write them on our discussion box. If you study English, if you lose your job, if you have children, don't forget to write your consequence using the future will, may, or might. Okay. If we don't have questions, we're going to practice making a few exercises in the grammar. For this, I'm going to give you the link in the chat. Okay, one moment. Take a look in the chat. You should have the link. It's okay, the link. Yes, yes. Teacher. excellent. Yes. Okay, so we're going to practice with our partners the list of the first conditional. In English, there are many conditional, not only one. But in this level, we only practice the first conditional. With our partner, we are going to open the link and complete the exercises to make sure that it's clear, positive, negative, questions, the different forms. Yes? Yes. Okay. Let's go with our partners. One moment. Jose Arturo, any questions? Juan, any problems? Jose, any questions?
Jaime, you have any problems? Jaime, you okay? Okay, any questions for the first conditional? Is the, the grammar is okay, it's clear? Only question teacher and one exercise. Okay. First conditional. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, uh, number um, three, say, Eat you, eat you, uh, get a driving license. Uh huh. License. Mm -hmm. License. Okay. Eat you, get a driving license. Next. Will you drive this school bus? Quisiera asegurarme de esta respuesta. Is correct. If you get, yes, yes, yes. If you get a driver's license, uh -huh. okay. Will you ride the school bus? Will you ride the school bus? Uh -huh. For the question, correct. Así como que pregunta, ¿verdad? Si tú obtuvieras la licencia. Uh -huh. Go ahead, continue, continue, no, yes. Eh, eh, y si tú manejarías eh, the bus, eh, you drive the school bus, fueras. Uh -huh. You, the drive, the car, the bus. Uh -huh. Yes, exactly. Okay, teacher. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome, you're welcome. Any other questions? Or it's okay the grammar, the first conditional. 
Maria, sorry. What? Not. Ah, no. Okay. Okay. Good. All right. Thank you so much. The idea is tomorrow we complete unit four. Tomorrow we, we finish unit four and begin Friday, section five. Okay. So tomorrow we complete section four. Okay, teacher. Okay. Okay, teacher. Thank you so much for joining. I see you tomorrow. Hi, teacher. Have a good night. Bye. Bye. Good evening. Good night. Good night.